A modem converts digital signals into something that can travel over the network, so it takes the actual data and converts it. Your network interface card is a specialized card, typically in um, one of it's a peripheral card um, in the back of your computer that allows the computer itself to hook into the network. Um, an Ethernet card is just another name for a NIC or a network interface card, um, specifically for an Ethernet network. A hub is a device that hooks two or more nodes of a wired network together. It's uh, actually just um, think of it as a way to plug two cables um, into one device and come out of it with one. A switch is a specialized um, device on a network that sends data only to the network um, device that's specified. And what this does is it operates kind of like an air traffic controller on a network um, to make sure you don't have collisions or slowdowns on your network. Um, a router transmits data from one network to another. So for example, if I am on campus and I go to Blackboard, which is on a computer in Virginia, I have a router here that takes my request and then forwards it on to the next jump along the way. Um, its purpose is to connect a local area network to a WAN. Um, here we have a picture of a network router. Um, what you see here are the ports um, that each of the devices can plug into. Um, typically we see routers in wireless networks. Um, what you see here are two examples of what we call a wireless router and this takes the actual connection and transmits a wireless signal for your devices to hook into. Um, a wired network versus a wireless network. Um, I think the names are pretty self-explanatory but a wired network your data is traveling over uh, between devices through an actual physical cable whereas a wireless network the data will travel through the air and there is no cabling involved from computer to computer. In our wired networks, we have several different types of cables. Um, the most common that we see today is what we call a twisted pair or a shielded twisted pair cable. And um, if you were to look in the back of the computer that you have, um, if you're hooked to a cable modem or a DSL, the um, cable that goes from your computer to that cable modem or DSL modem would typically be um, twisted pair cable. Um, we can also use coax cable, that's what you have coming out of the back of your cable television. And then finally we have fiber optic, which is a thin tube of glass that the data is sent at the speed of light. Um, bandwidth is basically how we measure the speed on a network. Um, typically your high bandwidth systems are your cable um, connections or DSL. Um, your low capacity or slower networks would be your dial-up. Um, when you compare wireless and wired networks, your wired networks typically are fast, secure, reliable, and they're pretty simple to set up. Um, wireless provides um, the ability to move your device from location to location without having um, cables or wires to tangle and deal with. Um, it does have some disadvantages in that um, wired networks, your signals have to uh, pass through the air and typically if you're in a um, building with lots of walls there are interference that can come into play. Um, wired networks are also more secure than wireless networks because um, your wireless signals pass through the air you can actually pick up a wireless network from outside of a building. Um, wireless networks also have a range limit. Um, wired networks longest cable if you can have, you're good to go. Wireless networks, it really depends on the speed of the signal, the strength of the signal, and what environment you're in. Um, at this day and time, the price between wired and wireless networks are pretty equal. Um, there's really no significant difference in price when you're setting those up. Um, when you set up a um, local area network in your home, you want to put your router in a central location. Um, you also want to make sure that it's put into a surge protector. A lot of times if you have a cable modem, when they install it, you're kind of limited to where they actually um, bring the cable into your home. You will then run your cables from the router to the adapter in each workstation or into the switch or wireless router that you're working with. And then you'll turn on your devices and wait to see um, if your connections um, 
recognize automatically your um, network. Um, if you have a wireless network, you will have to actually um, configure your wireless router. Um, most of those devices come with step-by-step -step wizards with the instructions in the box. Um, it is possible to have wireless and wired devices on the same network that is very easy to set up. Um, and a lot of your um, wireless routers actually come with ports to um, include wired devices. Talking about our different types of wireless networks, um, or networks, excuse me, an ISDN is a fixed internet connection um, that typically goes through a telephone connection, um, and it connects the computer to a terminal which sends the signals out. A DSL is typically purchased through your telephone companies and it stands for a digital subscriber line. This is high speed, it's always on the internet, and um, this would require a modem and a firewall or a filter to take care of your um, information. A dedicated line is a high capacity line that um, you're actually purchasing or leasing from the telephone company. Um, no other folks will be using the same um, line as you and it is dedicated and they come in various speeds from T1, T3, T4 right on up. A cable connection um, provides another broadband connection and it actually uses the same infrastructure that your cable television comes in and um, the actual bandwidth is split between your television and internet access. And if you're connecting your, to the internet via a cable modem, you will have a wall jack with a piece of coax coming in and you would have one cable going to your television and the other coming into your cable modem um, that's provided by the company that installs it.